uh, in, when I was young, they let me do everything in services. And I was learning everything the boys were learning, and I could, and I'm great at doing services, and I have a good voice, and you know, I would, enjoyed leading services. Um, but when I became 13 and had my bat mitzvah, and then I said, I still want to do, do these services, they said, you can't. They said, what? What's changed? And they said, well, now, you know, you're 13, and we don't let girls do this. And, um, and so um, I realized, um, I actually realized from when I, it was when I was 14 or 15 is when I decided that I should be a rabbi. And I still didn't know there weren't any women rabbis. So I went and asked this guy, uh, who shall remain nameless, but a, a very prominent teacher in the Jewish community. Um, and he had been my teacher in Ellie Hebrew High. And I said, I told him that I want to be a rabbi. And he looked at me very calmly and said, not in your lifetime. And I think I could have been devastated at that point. But for some reason, I wasn't. And what I thought in myself was, how does he know? <laughs> That's what I thought. I guess I had a lot of chutzpah. You know, how does he know not in my lifetime? I'm, I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to make it happen. Um, and then I found out that there were women reform rabbis, and I heard about Sally Presand. And, um, and I, I thought, I, I can do this. You know, I, I'm going to figure out how to do this. And I started plotting it out with another friend who was a rabbi who was helping me along the way. And whether what he told me was right or not, it was great to have someone to kind of bounce it off. Of and um, so we made a plan, and uh, I followed that plan, and then I followed my own gut, and it kind of got me there. <laughs>